I always wondered, how can you make good impression? You might think that nice words, nice clothing, a nice appearance will make it. Well, this is not what it says in this week's Torah portion. In this week's Torah portion, we have two incredible lessons about how to make good impression. It's about a little small letter that appears at the end of the first word of this week's Torah portion, Vaikra, the small Aleph. Moshe Rabbeinu, the greatest of all men, is actually the humblest of all men. He makes himself like a small Aleph to show that anything I have and everything I have really belongs to God. Who am I at the end of the day? Only a pawn in his hand. And therefore, Moshe Rabbeinu is able to erase himself completely and make himself become a sacrifice for God. Indeed, we might be speaking about a lot of animalistic stuff. What is this all about? It's about reversing the process of creation. God created the world from nothing to something. Are you able to take the something that you have and give it to God and make it nothing? That is the question. And that's what happened to a good friend, Rabbi Shimon Freinlich, the rabbi of Beijing. Rabbi Shimon Freinlich was studying in the yeshiva in Manchester, England. And one day at 11 p.m., a young student said to the other, I would love to have a nice Fanta. Rabbi Friendlich, which was just turning and tossing in his bed, trying to sleep, already in his pajamas, decided to get dressed, jumped out of bed, went to the corner and went to the vending machine, got a Fanta, came back and gave him the Fanta. Here, enjoy it. When it comes to bringing enjoyment to another person, that is the real sacrifice. That is the real humility. You want to reach that level. You want to be able to make a good impression. It's actually by becoming more humble, by being able to sacrifice your time, your money, your effort to bring pleasure to someone else. And when you do that, God considers it as if you offered him the greatest sacrifice. Shabbat Shalom.